Yeah. <clears throat> Let's go to rewind this chambers from chambersmixed.com. Stop. A few days ago on my online class, chamberscourses.com, I dropped my first placement breakdown course where I'm going over some of my biggest placements. I'm like showing you guys the session on the screen. I'm like, yo, here's how I did the chorus and the melody and the drums. This is how I made the sample, this blah, blah, all that stuff. Top secret. You're not going to find this on YouTube. And it just came out. So if you haven't seen it yet, go get the online course right now. Aside from that, we got courses on music theory and drums and mixing and structuring. We have full trap production courses. You can even get some of my drum kits when you sign up. And there's so much more content coming soon. So go check it out. All right. So we're back in PlayStation 3. I have three synths loaded up here. This is all stock plugins. So you could easily follow along. For everyone who uses PlayStation 3 as their DAW. <laughs> For everyone who uses PlayStation 3 as their DAW. You got, you got flex in here for free. Stock plugin. I was just looking through the presets and I found this. It's called 80s theater. So let's go into the piano roll, get it started. So BPM, we're going to want like 160, like something fast, right? Off the bat, we're going to start kind of different, right? We're going to be doing one third beat. So you want to change your grid. I'm going to start with C because that's my favorite note. We go like this. See how it's like one, two, three, three boxes per grid, whatever you call these units in PlayStation 3. But let's put that up an octave. So we're using the C minor scale for this, right? And the C minor scale is C, D, D sharp, F, G, G sharp, A sharp, then back to C. So I'm pretty much just going up and down the scale. C, D, skip a few notes to the G, skip a few notes to the C, come back down the same way, and then we hit that D sharp right here. And that gives you like a nice tense feel because there's a half step right here from D up to D sharp. And if you wanna learn more about techniques that I use in music theory, the best way to learn music theory today is probably my music theory master's course. Link in the description and in the comment section. But I'm just gonna repeat this four times over. I'm just hitting control B to duplicate it. It's like a future little baby melody, easy. Repetitive, put that in. I'm gonna go to the next sound that I have here in flex. It's a uh, piano sound, right? Uh, we about to do the same thing with third grid. This time, instead of starting with the C, we're going to start with the G. Now, the G, in terms of music theory, is the fifth in the C minor scale. Again, more about that in my music theory courses. But the relationship between the one, the C, and the five, the G is very important. So this time, instead of going up, I'm going to just go down and repeat it. Right? And then right here, I'm going to do that half step trick again. Put the D to D sharp. I think I'm going to lower the velocity a lot. But yeah, just duplicate that over. Pretty much the same pattern. The only thing that we're changing is this half step in between. And if you think about it, we're just playing a C minor triad chord, but backwards pretty much right here. Because the notes in a C minor triad are C, D sharp, and G, right? So if I move these, that's a C minor triad. I'm pretty much arpeggiating it, but backwards. But let's lower the velocity. And I want to add some bass notes to it. So if we're at C, I'm going to do double octaves. And we're going to do pretty much what they do in every single little baby beat ever made. You want to take the root note and you want to go down four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I'm going to end up pitching it like all down later, but let's just get the melodies for now. Lastly, I have this one. It's called Tesla Pipe. Again, we'll start at the fifth, which is G. And we'll just do a melody that goes down the staircase of the C minor scale. Just G to F, D sharp, D. And repeat it. Put up an octave. We got all the melody notes that we want, right? Pitch it down a bunch. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Take the piano. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just holding shift and hitting the down arrow. One, two, three, four, five. I definitely lost count. No, I didn't. I'm nice. I'm going to go even lower than that. One, two, three, four. There we go. All right. Mixing wise, though, this, I'm going to just put the low end right here. I'm going to spice it up, add some reverb. Piano, cut the low end as well. Also add some reverb to this. For the Tesla, room, room, we're going to add delay. All right, so everything all together. I 
Why are everybody so quiet? Yeah, bro, wake up. Hold up. I'm going all these to the channel. Everybody needs to wake up. It's like... We're at like negative 16 decibels or something. I like to be around... Before I put drums on, somewhere between 6 and 9. But we're kind of quiet right now. But I pretty much bust this all into this one track. And I'm going to add an EQ just to jack the volume up. That's good enough for me. I might do two sections because I might do one that's like up an octave and one that's down an octave. So it's like this. Everybody's all in one pattern. I don't want that. So we're going to do split by channel. Everyone's in their own pattern, right? I'm going to select all of them, right click, hit quick render as audio clip. All these random audio clips. I don't. Okay. I think this is a synth. This is a piano. What? Now I got to do it again because I'm stupid. This is a synth. This is the Tesla. This is the piano. Let's cut the excess off like that. All right, now we want to do a higher section. So I'm going to go into each individual pattern and hit Control plus the up arrow to put everyone up an octave. And then we want to come here again, select it, and right click, click under his audio clip. We got to rename all this again. My fault. Synth low. See, because when I make beats, I like to stay organized. A lot of people have like their audio clips named like this. Like, No one was going to tell me that I just put low when we put it up an octave. I'm actually stupid. I can't spell. Why do you guys watch this channel? Everyone's up an octave now. Hooray. That was painful and excruciating, but now it's time for the drums. So for trap drums, we want something that hits, something that's crispy, something that's loud. You know, that, that comes through for like future little baby beat, as I've said now for the sixth time. So I'm going to go to my go-to drums, the undeniable drum kit. Link in the description. Link in the description and in the comment section. Every single sound that's in this kit, right? I ran it through analog outboard gear, hardware, and I made it, I made it sound so you don't even have to mix the drums. Like they hit. Anyway, look, I'm gonna grab 808 number eight. I mean, we do this in every video, but for all the people who's watching me for the first time, you wanna go into the envelope tab and your sampler, put the attack down, put the holds up, put the decay down, put the sustain down, put the sus put the release down. You can hold out the 808. For as long as you want. I'm gonna grab a clap, probably clap one, my favorite. Hat number three, I'm gonna grab open hi hat, grab a snare, and I'm gonna grab a perk. I sound like a golf commentator. And now that we've got our sounds collected, it's time to do the drums. Watch as he gracefully creates a new pattern and opens up the piano roll to lay down the 808. All right, so the root note goes from D sharp down to B. Let's get the velocity up. Let's do a one third step because it kind of goes with the melody. So we're going to do like some interesting. We'll go up an octave right there. Now we'll do another pattern. Now we'll do something crazy here too. Go back into one third. Do a roll right here. Something crazy. Bing, bing, bing. Nice little 808 roll right there. And that's the 808. Let's get the clap. What you want to do with the clap. Um, It's really important that you put the clap on the one and the three. Because music is changing. And people are actually starting to do this now. This is why you can't trust me. Put the clap on the three and the seven. I'm sorry. Let's do Phillies two steps with the hi hats. I like to make the hi hat sound like kind of short. So what I did was up the out knob right here. It fades the end of the transient. So it's like, see how it like shuts it off, makes it shorter. Let's get a roll in here somewhere. I'll just like put random low notes and stuff. And I'll go in here and pan the rolls like bink, bink, bink. Now I'll make this one unique. Pattern seven and eight for the hi-hats. Let's go into this one, change it up a little bit. Probably do another roll somewhere in here. This one I'll have going down like, like this. Note by note. Let's put this one up. We'll go one fourth step. That's going to be like... That sound like Perry the Platypus. I like how it like rolls into the clap, right? Let's get the open eye hat. Let's get the 
snare. I'm gonna pitch it up a little bit if I come in here, right click up. Make this one unique, take this one out, put one right there. The 808 like kind of does like some triplet hit right there. I'm gonna do it with the snare too, but pitch it up. Unless we have this one last uh, perk. Make this one unique. Just have it right before the clap right there. Now we have to figure out who's like the forefront of the melody, right? I like the piano up front. This is kind of like more of a pad sound now in the back and it's just the lead that goes on top As you structure it out, you can just take them out or add them in. I mean, honestly, do whatever you want, but that's how we make a trap beat today for artists like Future or Lil Baby. But the melody we did a little bit different this time. We did third step and we did repetitive melodies, added a piano on top, added a lead on top, very repetitive. And that's really like mainly the vibe with Future or Lil Baby. Most times the melodies are just repetitive and sound selection is important as well. But yeah, if you want to learn more about music theory, stuff like that, I definitely recommend to you my music theory master's course on my website. It has helped hundreds of people to this day. And of course, if you want fire drums to add with that, that's the undeniable drum kit. All links are in the description and in the comment section for you thank you all for watching please let me know in the comments what tutorials you guys want to see next or challenges or whatever it is subscribe if you're new let's get to 70k and i'll see you all in the next one peace